Okay, guys, so we found ourselves a ranch house here. It's a nice looking one. You can see any player built or uh, any uh, prefab structure like this is going to be surrounded by zombies. And there's no way I'll be able to take them all down um, easily. So what you want to do is get yourself in a position where you can do this. Like up here, for example. The zombies cannot reach me until I fall down. Oh, God. Bleeding out. Let's get a bandaid on myself. So that was a big fail there. The whole point of that was to try and kill them without being caught by them. All right. So we're just going to drag them all over here where I've got a perch. I can just stand here. I forgot that you can slip down these slopes now if you're not careful. You've got to be careful about that now. That wasn't a thing before. Shit. Be careful of that. If you get too close to an edge, you will slip down. And that is bad news. Alright. So we've got them kind of spread out now. We can probably take them a little bit one at a time. Watch out for guys in the grass. Crawlers. There's probably a bunch of crawlers around here. Always watch your back. You never know who's sneaking up behind you. We only have ten arrows left. We gotta make this count. This guy's tough. Four shots left. Oh, sh see, this is what I'm talking about. Watch out for those guys. Damn, I really couldn't afford to miss him. Yet. We want to try and get in that house. That is going to be very, very useful. We're out of arrows, so back off a little bit of a distance. Craft some more arrows. A, uh, a club, a, a spiked club, would be so ha handy right now, but we can't make one at the current situation. Alright, so we got 45 arrows on the go. Let's try to collect some of those bodies before they decompose. Right, we can't get to those guys, unfortunately. Where'd they all go? Yeah, we lost them all. Darn it. There was a lot of um, bodies there that we could have used. <laughs> Okay, same process, just watch, watch out for crawling zombies. I know he's around here somewhere, I gotta find him. We can avoid him pretty easily at this stage, so we're just gonna deal with these guys. Alright, loot him. There he is, and we got a grain alcohol. There's actually two of them here, so this is what you gotta watch for. Okay. And we've had ourselves some jars. And we now have a house to live in. Like I said, it'd be nice to have a, uh, a weapon. And a bookcase. So please be a forging book. Darn it. Okay. What is that? Beer. Oh my god. Perfect. We're finding some good stuff. You want to try and find a house you know, that you can get into, guys, uh, as fast as possible. There's going to be supplies in here. There's going to be food, water, grain alcohol in this case. We've got some of that now. You know, collect as much stuff as you can get your hands on. There are certain things you don't need. Uh, fishing weights at this stage of the game have no purpose. Don't waste your time with that. Nails is, is um, they're only really good for the nail gun, so don't worry about that. I thought they could possibly maybe be used for something else, but they're not going to be. Collect as many glass bottles as you can. Oh my god, a forge. Yes. That's, that is awesome. Usually that's a, a campfire. And look at this, there's a candle here too, guys. So now we have a light source. And a medicine cabinet. Here we go. Yes, perfect. 
All right, so we... I don't know if you can still do it. You used to be able to fill bottles in a toilet. Yep. Look at that. Now we have 10 murky water. Perfection. We've got some bottled water here, and we have some food. So the problem with eating this charred food is it dries you out. Like, it gets you really, really thirsty really quickly. So you can see our water went right into the toilet as I drank that. Right into the toilet. It's kind of ironic. But, uh, drink your beer... Don't drink the beer right away, actually, because that's going to be useful for giving you a um, speed boost. If you want to run away, it gives you more stamina. Hold on to that. Moldy bread can be used from antibiotics. At this stage of the game, it doesn't really have a purpose, but I'm holding on to it just in case I come across some potassium nitrate, then I can actually make it. Uh, we're going to just keep making more arrows if we can, which I think we need more sticks for, which we can actually use some of our planks. Okay, we'll put those aside for a second. Let's make another campfire. And we're going to head over to the... Let's go upstairs and put this campfire down up here where it's a little safer for us. Okay, let's look for the desk. We've got some shades. Uh, kind of a pointless item. It doesn't really do you any good. But it does make you look cool as son of a bitch. Yeah. Yeah. She's not so pretty up front. I didn't realize her nose was so gross. Maybe it's just a fish eye view of it there. All right, so let's, um, another thing we should be doing right now is we should be making a new bed. Do we have any cotton? We've got tons of cotton, so crafting. Let's make another bedroll, and we're going to put it down inside of here, because we don't want to die and end up far away from this place. We just busted our asses trying to secure it. Let's keep it now, right? So there's our bedroll. Let's get our torch up so we have some light in here, because it's going to get dark in this place. There is a candle there, luckily. Uh, next thing you know, we, next thing we want to do is we want to go get some clay. That's clay right there. That's a lucky find. And clay is going to be used to build our mold. Is that garbage? Yeah, it's garbage. All right, we need at least probably one clump of clay to make an iron mold. This is what I'm talking about. Try and find these houses, guys. It gives you a good head start. Um, there is a few zombies you got to take care of. But we're going to have a spiked club in a second as soon as I can get some clay to make a mold. Another stone axe. Like I said, brass is no use to us at this point. This is the wrong tool. You want to be trying to use a shovel. If you can find yourself a shovel, use the damn shovel. But I want to show you guys, it is possible to dig with the stone axe. It just takes a few extra hits. There we are. There's our clay. We're going to drink some water. And we've got a lump of clay here. We're going to put that in the thing. It's going to make us nine lumps of clay. So there's our ball of clay into nine lumps of clay. And a lump of clay we can then make, if you go under here, we need to make an iron ingot mold, which is in this shape right here, okay? There we are. We have a house with an iron ingot mold. And we have water now. We can make some goldenrod tea. This is this is triumphant. This is very, very good at this stage. Where's our ingot mold? Ingot mold. Where did it go? There it is. Stick the iron ingot mold in. We still have a log. Throw the log on. Stick the iron fragments inside. And boom. We're going to have a couple of iron ingots in a minute. And I think the Duke's Casino chip can be used as iron as well. We'll find out shortly. Um, we really could use some more fuel source. Let's try to get a couple more sticks at least. And we'll cut down this tree if we can. Get a few more logs going here. Now this could be our house for the first... A uh, little bit, and I think that's probably a safe bet. 
to stay near this house, we have a forge, which we can't get normally at this stage of the game because we don't have the forge ahead book. All right, so we've actually got a nice advantage here that we wouldn't have otherwise. So I think we're going to try and stay here for, for the uh, next little while. Which means we're going to need to put up some defenses on this door. For right now, we're okay. We've got one, one ingot there. Let's see what these suckers are worth. I would like two ingots if possible. No. Not the can. There we are, two ingots. Alright. It's more than I thought we'd get, so that's pretty okay. Um, what can we do with two iron ingots at this stage? That's not a lot of ingots, unfortunately. We could use definitely more than that. Nice deck here. This could actually be a very good safe place for us to be um, falling back to in the event that the zombies are coming after us. Curtains. Cloth fact. Free cloth fragment, guys. Cut the curtains down. You don't need to be ashamed of anything. There you go. Free cloth fragments. Okay, so we've got our campfire up here. Let's make some golden. Oh, we don't have. Yes, that's what I needed to do. Let's make a pot. All right, I was gonna—I was trying to think of what I could what I could really use. Cooking pot requires forged iron, so we're gonna take one of our iron ingots, and we're gonna have to take two of our iron ingots, I guess. We need forged iron here. Boom. Cooking pot, super super valuable item, guys. Super valuable item. We can use this and the goldenrod to make goldenrod tea. Goldenrod tea is like super water. Think of it that way. Let's put our pot on. Let's put a log on. Let's get our bottled murky water in there. We have 10 of it. 10. Cook it up. No, I don't want to lose that log. I'll put a piece of a plank of wood in there. Okay, cooking. It's cooking up. And we're going to get goldenrod tea out of this. This means we can start drinking from rivers and lakes as our primary water source. And when we get dysentery, we can cure our dysentery with um, goldenrod tea. Oh, my mistake. you got to actually boil the water first before you make the goldenrod tea. That was my, my silly overlook. So this is going to make us some bottled water. Damn it, I keep messing up. Alright, so it's cooking up. And we can take that bottle of water, and we're going to make goldenrod tea with it. Uh, in the meantime, though, let's craft ourselves some wood frames. Wood frames are probably one of the most useful items in the game. Don't ever shy away from wood frames. I don't know what that noise was, but it was kind of scary. It wasn't me. I think it was uh, a decomposing body. One of the things that can happen now, guys, in case you didn't know, is that okay so we have some wood frames that is a glass window that is not going to keep us safe what we need to do is we need to build a way to keep ourselves protected here Now, zombies, something you should know, is zombies have a extra hit damage against wood. So they really beat the hell out of wood. Wood is a temporary measure at best for keeping the zombies out. And we can use, as long as we have wood planks in our inventory, we can use the hammer or the axe to upgrade them. If we had some scrap, we could take them to the third level, but we don't have any scrap. If we had scrap, we'd be turning it into iron right now. Alright. So that at least gives us some extra protection that we didn't have 10 seconds ago. 
All right, so let's make a couple more stone axes. And we're going to collect a few more of these surface stones. And this is what you want to do at the beginning, guys. This is how you want to do it. Find shelter, find food, find weapons, find medical supplies. Once you got all that accomplished, you can relax a f for two seconds here. more iron fragments which means we can get a few more ingots going um i guess it's like six iron fragments for one ingot so that's it's a lot of these stones unfortunately and you can see this is not a fast process by any stretch of the imagination let's get this last piece here you really shouldn't try to hammer stuff when you're exhausted because it just slows it down. Wait till you have some stamina back. Come on, break. Break, damn you. Let's drink water so we get some stamina. Water replenishes stamina, just in case you didn't know. There we go. Okay, some more iron fragments. And we're going to have to try and find a, a mature tree at some point soon, cut it down to get some more stuff. Uh, in the meantime, though, we've got to worry about the zombies coming through that door. What we're going to do is we're just going to put an end table in the way. That's not going to stop anything. In fact, I think they'll just step over it, truth be told, but... That way, we have, actually have a, a nice, cheap, easy-to-maintain door. There we have an old wood plate now. We can put that up. That was the wrong thing to do. All right. We used all the wood planks. Jesus. Okay, so we're going to create a few more wood planks. Our campfire is done. And this is how you make goldenrod tea. So we have 13 of this. Take your water, take your goldenrod, and your fuel source. Thirteen goldenrod tea coming up. We can also make tallow, but we don't need to do that at, the, at this point. Candlestick has no use. Glass jars are the most useful thing we can get our hands on at the moment. So let's get rid of this candlestick because I keep picking it up. Let's leave our mold in here. Sixteen thirty hours already. It's four thirty. The zombies come out a little earlier than they used to. Uh, you used to be pretty safe until about nineteen hundred hours. Now it's only it's around seventeen hundred hours. I didn't even realize this window is just like begging to be broken into. Uh, one of the sure ways you can protect yourself in a house like this is we're gonna want to make another stone axe and we'll cut the stairs up. And aside from spider zombies, zombies can't climb. Because they're going to bust through that windows and those doors sooner than you think. And when they do, we want to be ready. So we're going to remove these stairs. They won't be able to get up to the next level. That'll keep us safe up top. They might beat the Christ out of this house tonight, but at least we'll be safe. All right, let's go see if see how our golden rod tea is coming along. Golden rod tea, guys. There you go. Now we can drink bottled murky water without fear of getting dysentery. This stuff is actually one of the best 
early items that you can make because it gives you an incredible boost in uh, your wellness and your uh, hydration. And this is where the wood frames come in handy because now the zombies can't get up here, but we have a wood frame to be able to get back up here. Okay, so there we are. We're safe. Safe-ish. There's actually a trick you can do to scale up a wall. I can't quite do it. Sometimes you can do it. It's okay though, because we've got this. There we are. Boom. Now we're safe for the night. Nothing to worry about. So thanks for watching, guys. I uh, hope this tutorial series is coming in handy. And I'll see you in the next episode.